My friends, I'm sure you've heard of the law of the boomerang. What you give will certainly come back to you. And all bad things in this world, we have to be paid sooner or later. Life is like a big supermarket. Take what you want, but don't forget that the cash register is up front. Today, I'm going to share with you a story that's been circulating on the net for a very long time, and it's probably the best example of the fact that all our reactions will come back to us. At the age of 20, Michael met what he thought at the time was the love of his life. Once he saw the girl at the friends' meeting, he could no longer get her out of his mind. A beautiful young woman named Julia enchanted him with her perfect body and beauty. The 18-year-old student was like an angel and her gaze was mesmerizing and simply drove Michael crazy. He was a guy from a simple family who wanted the best in his life. He had far-reaching plans, but none of that mattered to him anymore. In an instant, he just lost his head and asleep. I think a lot of people have been through it and will know exactly what I mean. Well, as is often the case in our imperfect world, the girl paid no attention to Michael, and as it turned out, she was in love with somebody else entirely. It's worth saying that the guy knew this, and the situation even upset him, but he tried to get Julie out of his head. He just couldn't do it. What made it worse was that they had common friends, and he saw her from time to time, and that hurt him even more. It's also worth noting that he didn't want to ruin someone else's love, so he just kept all his feelings to himself. But time passed. The company kept friendly communication and all the meetings. Julie always came with her boyfriend. Michael watched them from the sidelines but never gave himself away, thinking it was just wrong. After all, she had a soulmate and he was a third wheel. The story probably wouldn't have happened at all, but a couple of years later, Julia came alone to one such meeting. As Michael found out later, she'd broken up with her boyfriend. As it turned out, he'd cheated on her that night. She was very upset and even depressed. And somehow it just so happened that it was Michael who had to take Julia home after the party at the bar. It was purely coincidental as she had always gone with her ex-boyfriend before and since they lived on the same side, naturally the guy agreed to drive her home anyway. It was even more banal. One thing led to another and they talked for hours that night at her house. It was hard for Michael to watch her feel so badly breaking up with her ex, but he also knew that this wasn't the best time to show his feelings. So he was calm and listened to the pretty girl and tried to be supportive in every way possible. That night he drove home from her house and wondered if he'd done the right thing in not telling her about his feelings. He even began to blame himself. Maybe that was the best moment. The one chance that, by the way, might not be there anymore. But as it turned out, everything worked itself out literally. A day later he received the phone call. The man picked up the phone and on the other end of the line he heard Julia in a slightly uncertain and even timid voice. She said that she needed help as she didn't have a car. She needed to help to move something that was just a sign for our hero. And while we're ahead of the curve, I have to say that from that day their meetings became regular and probably a week or two later Michael confessed his feelings to the beautiful woman. I just told Julia that I'd been in love with her for years. She didn't believe me and just smiled. I was even scared to hear her response to my confession, but to my surprise she hugged me and kissed me. In short, the guy was over the moon. And from that very day, a new chapter in his life began. It's not enough to say that Michael was happy and surprised at the same time. Everything came out itself somehow, quickly, because a month ago he had no idea that Julia would be with him. And now, such a sharp turn. So from that moment, the guy did everything to make his beloved happy. Our hero did everything for the girl. He took her to all sorts of expensive places and devoted all his time only to her. He was always there for her, and it didn't matter what the price of her wish was. Once he even bought plane tickets for her parents to come and meet him. His love and care were simply unstoppable, and Julia, for her part, behaved in the same way and reciprocated. One day they went to Disneyland, and there, standing in front of each other, Julia looked him in the eye and promised him that she would be there for him and would never leave. Their stormy romance lasted for two years, and finally, as one would expect, Michael decided to propose to Julia. He had never been more excited. And though he knew she would say yes, which in fact she did, the wedding date had already been set and it was only a month until the boy could call Julia his wife. Preparations were in full swing, with all the girls and boys' relatives helping in any way they could. Michael decided to arrange an expensive and beautiful wedding because he believed that his sweetheart deserved only the best. And when everything was almost ready and there were only two weeks left until the happy day, something went wrong. One evening, Julia came back in a bad mood. She wasn't herself. She was quiet for a long time. And she acted even strangely. But that could happen, probably nerves, before the wedding. 
So the boy thought it would pass tomorrow, but even tomorrow and even after tomorrow, Julia wasn't like herself. If earlier she had supported the subject of the wedding, now she didn't even want to talk about it. The man she loved knew something was wrong. Looking ahead as it would turn out later, it wasn't for nothing that Michael sensed that something was bothering her. He would ask Julia if everything was okay and what was going on, but she would always reply that he was imagining things and that everything was fine. If only he had known then how it would all end. And so it happened that just a few days before the wedding, when all the invitations had been sent out, the restaurant was paid for, and the dress and suit had been bought, Michael came home and found the envelope, and that very day his whole life crumbled like a house of cards. In the letter, the person for whom he had lived for the past few years, the one who had looked him straight in the eye and spoken of eternal love, wrote that she was sorry. The lines Julia had left for him hurt him more than a gunshot. The girl apologized for her cowardice and for not being able to tell him directly eye to eye. She wrote that she couldn't marry him. As it turned out later, after some time when Michael found out from mutual friends this behavior was due to her ex. The girl wrote that she couldn't break up with him, and as it turned out, when the ex-boyfriend found out about the wedding, he asked Julia to a meeting. It's been since then that she's been acting strangely. She didn't know what decision to make, but her heart couldn't help it, and she chose her ex. Michael's life had lost all meaning. He tried to call her for a while, but the girl would cut him off, and when he called from another number, hearing his voice, she just said, sorry, I guess that would have been the end of the story. But as you've already realized, sometimes life can be tougher than any book. Several years have passed since then. The pain of breaking up with Julia had subsided a little, but of course it hadn't completely disappeared. He'd had fleeting affairs, but it hadn't been the same. He was immersed in work and building a career. But one spring evening, when the man was working at his computer, suddenly a message arrived on his phone. The message made his heart beat faster. As you've already realized, the message was from Julia. The girl wrote that she understood and would even accept the fact that he wouldn't respond. She asked him for just one meeting and said that she wanted to apologize for what she had done. Of course, Michael wasn't going to jump back into the thick of it, so he paused. He couldn't sleep that night. In the morning, he couldn't get Julia's message out of his head. He wanted to hear what she had to say for herself. Or maybe he just wanted to see her, because he probably hadn't fallen out of love. So he answered her briefly and succinctly. If you have something to say, I do not mind to meet when, after a while. Michael arrived at the appointed place. He saw the same Julia. She was even more beautiful than before. He knew that his feelings were still strong, even though he'd been trying to deceive himself for several years. But what would happen next? He certainly hadn't expected the girl abruptly approached him and hugged him tightly, as if nothing had happened, after which she said she loved him as before and apologized for what she had done. Michael just stood there, perplexed. He couldn't understand what was going on at all, but at the same time he didn't want to leave her and was willing to do anything so that the evening would never end. Then he admitted to himself that he loved her just as much. Julia told him that she'd made the wrong choice. She'd tortured herself for a long time and didn't know what to do. Her friends had told her to choose her heart, and her heart told her that she loved her ex anyway. She just felt that it would be the right thing to tell Michael. She also added that she had broken up with her ex, and now it was definitely the end. She said that she would understand if Michael would just get up and leave now, but he wasn't even going to do that, whereupon she uttered the words that were like thunder from out of the blue. Let's get married. We'll do the wedding like you dreamed. 